We have a Zoe sandwich. <laughs> it's a Zoe Oreo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David Lee. And I'm the one. And we have a very, very special guest star, Zoe Francois. And she's here, and I have to say, you don't know this, but she is a culinary crush of mine for years and years. I have lusted after her beautiful box of baked goods for years. So today we're going to bake from their book, Holiday and Celebration Bread. And specifically, we're going to be baking the skillet cinnamon rolls. But apparently I did something wrong. I didn't <laughs> read the instructions, right? So we're doing kind of an exclusive, you said? Yes. We're doing an exclusive version here. You'll find nowhere else. It'll be here. It's not wrong. Not wrong. It's just It's improvisational. It's yes. That's right. There you go. You made it your own, which is exactly what we want people to do. So we're gonna mix our dough. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we need is a container. I like to use these uh, big buckets because we're actually making enough dough for four loaves. So it's a lot of dough. So you need something that's at least uh, five quarts. I think this is what, six this quarts? Is six quarts. quarts. So yeah. perfect. And we're just going to dump everything into it. it. Really doesn't matter the order, but we're gonna just put our water. The water needs to be warm or even cold, but not hot. Hot water is actually the only thing that will kill the yeast. Mm -hmm. You can use regular yeast, instant yeast, bread machine yeast, any yeast of it. Yeast. We find it just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Nope. Uh, salt goes in, then some honey for some sweetness. Mm -hmm. But it's not a particularly sweet dough. It's not a sweet dough, and in fact, you can use this dough even for savory things. So you could do a savory filling, um, and it's just a little bit, um, just sort of makes a nice balanced flavor. And then some eggs go in. Just dump it's right like there. a dump cake. <laughs> yes, but exactly. it's a dump bread. <laughs> it is. Just that easy, exactly. So we figured if we could make bread as easy as possible, people would actually be baking bread. I bake this bread yep. all the time. Just some all-purpose flour, and then our melted hot butter. I like to put the butter on top of the flour just so that if it's really hot, it won't uh, cook the eggs. Mm -hmm. And that's it, we put that all in. And then this is uh, a Danish dough whisk. That's your magic wand. Exactly. She's the bread fairy. Exactly. That's her magic wand. <laughs> Absolutely. And everybody needs one because it's so cool looking. Mm -hmm. And because it doesn't have a flat surface, it goes through the dough really, really That's easily. Incredible. So we're Look just going to stir it. There's no kneading, just stirring. And what you want to make sure is just that you're getting down into those crevices and that everything is coming together. You can also do this in a stand mixer mm -hmm. and you want to use your paddle attachment because the dough hook, uh, this is much too wet. So this does take some muscle. <laughs> it it takes does. Some... Which means Alan, <laughs> you couldn't do this. Okay in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show off. Watch, watch. I mean, this is not as easy as it looks. Yeah, David and I did push up before we got on the show. Like I said, I, didn't join the <laughs> I like my men like I like my coffee, light, sweet, and weak. And there we go. Perfect <laughs> example. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> That's okay. awesome. So, yeah, all I do is make sure that it's all oh. incorporated from the bottom, and that's it. That's you it. have made bread dough. Wow. It's just and, that simple. And I have gotten my exercise and for And here, day. see? It's yep. so, it serves so many purposes. And then that's it. So you have this sort of scraggly, craggly, buttery coffee. bread. And that's exactly what we're going for. Wow. And we just take that out and voila, you want to pass me the lid. And the lid? Will. Sure. Yep. Here Perfect. you are. Um, there's yeast, mm -hmm. and the yeast creates gas yes. as it's doing its job. So we just lay that on top. We don't snap it shut, otherwise this could turn into a weevil. So just leave it cracked. And then it goes in the fridge. Well, two hours Two hours the resting, and then in the fridge. Let the dough rise, then into the refrigerator, because we have all that melted butter, mm -hmm. and once it's uh, chilled, it'll be much easier to work with. Excellent. And that's it. Very easy. 
so we're gonna make a really lovely, sweet uh, filling of sugar, two pounds of sugar. I have regular and then brown sugar just because the brown sugar adds a bit of a richness to the flavor. And then spices, so we have cinnamon for the classic cinnamon roll. Right. Um, but we have, you know, you could really go anywhere with this. So nutmeg or cardamom. We even have um, a Chinese five spice. Which would be wonderful. Excellent in there. Um, a bit of salt because that really perks up all the flavors. Mm -hmm. And then some zest because it just really balances out and gives it a nice zip to the filling. And you know, we gave a suggestion of how much, but you can, if you love orange zest, you can add more. Just go to town. Go to town, or even lemon. Lemon is a really nice flavor in there too. And that's it. And then we'll just sort of massage all of that together and combine it. Yeah, so that's it. That's and it. that's gonna get sprinkled over our dough and it couldn't be easier. It's so easy. Yeah. Amazing. So once the dough has refrigerated, I'm just gonna dust some flour right over the top. And this is not to incorporate into the dough, but just to keep my hands from sticking to the dough. And this dough is actually pretty firm once all of that butter um, chills. And so it's not terribly sticky, so you can handle it really, really easily. And then what I generally do is just form it into a ball just so it's nice and uniform. Mm -hmm. And then you do wanna make sure that you have plenty of flour down, mm -hmm. just so that it's not stuck to the counter. And then also flour your dough, and then we'll roll it out. And you can use my dough Thank yes. you, this is pretty special. It's very special. Cute. I feel honored. And then we're just gonna roll it, and as I'm rolling it, I'm just checking to make sure that it's not sticking to the counter, and always, if you need to, you can just add a little bit more flour to it. And we'll just keep it as rectangular as possible. But it, the dough sometimes just will be as it does, and it's, you know, no cause for stress. And that's it. And now, yeah, it's nice. super easy. Yeah. So that sort of gloppy, sticky dough that we made earlier right. is it's now gorgeous. this glorious, yeah, it's good, smooth, great texture. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, baby's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> And now, uh, to put the filling on that we made earlier, we're just going to brush the dough with some butter. And then we're gonna sprinkle on our filling. And that's it, just make sure it's nice and even so each of your rolls has a nice amount of the filling. And that's it, and then we'll just spread it. Look at that. That pro swirl. Yes. And now we're going to roll them up. So, so thicker you go with Yeah, tray. if you want them nice and thick, you can go from the short end and then you'll get a, a yeah. thicker one. If okay. you go from this end, they'll be a little bit smaller um, and we can cut them into more. I just crimp this just so that it's easier for me to cut them mm -hmm. into even pieces. And so you can either use a kitchen shears or a knife, mm -hmm. and then we're just going to cut this into six even pieces. pieces and put them in our pan. All right, great. Wow. So now we have this beautiful log, mm -hmm. and we need to get it into our pan. And then we also need to get it out. So we are going to. That's a good idea. <laughs> so we're going to first um, coat this with some butter. More butter. More butter. More, more butter. butter. <laughs> never enough. No, butter. there's never enough. And it's also seasoning the pan too. Yeah. At the same time. Perfect. So this is about a nine-inch pan, right? That's a ten-inch actually. Ten-inch pan. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do this with this tool mm -hmm. or a bench knife, which is essentially a kitchen version of this, but exactly. tiny. Right. 
a knife or kitchen shears and depending on your personality mm -hmm. you can either just cut it or you can measure, measure. it with a ruler and I'm, I can just guess which way you guys go. Yes, I'm the ruler. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually go in half and then do my thirds and I do sort of mark it just to make sure that I'm close. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do six even, wow. evenish pieces. Look at the middle, it's so yeah. beautiful. Beautiful, right? Oh. Mm. All that swirl of oh. sugar in there. That's it, and then they rest. I usually will drape them with a tiny bit of plastic, let them rest, and then we'll slip them into the oven. And, and how, that's it. How long should they rest? Um, about, about an hour, hour and a half. So then these are going to go in the oven. So before we start, we have a new addition to the crew. This is Luca, who came just in time for the frosting of the cinnamon rolls. I think he smelled it all the way across town. <laughs> That's the son of my assistant, Annie. That's so great. Do you like frosting? Mm -hmm. uh, excellent. That's what we're going to make now. So we're going to make a cream cheese frosting. And we're just going to put the cream cheese in the bowl. First, we'll stir that up a little bit. Get nice just and soft. Get, yeah, nice and soft and smooth so that everything else can go in there with ease. And then there's a little bit of powdered sugar. Make it nice and sweet. And we'll just stir that in because that powdered sugar likes to fly all over the place. So we'll just do that. Just a little bit first and then we can dump everything else in. And a tiny bit of orange zest. That's the peel of the orange. Yeah. Do you like orange soup, Luca? Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, spoke too late. <laughs> you won't taste it. <laughs> Well, I didn't put it all in. No, she so. did. You she just put little some, little. Luca. That is so sweet. You know what? I'll have you taste a little bit <laughs> on a spoon, and maybe we won't put the, that frosting on your piece if you don't want it. So you also put in vanilla. A little bit of vanilla and heavy some cream. heavy cream. And we'll just stir that up. And then our buns just came out of the oven. It smells so it good smells in here. So oh my goodness. Great. They smell amazing. Yeah. Yes. And then once this is nice and smooth, we are just going to put that right on top of our buns. And I like to do it when the rolls just come out so that they're still a little bit warm mm -hmm. and it sort of melts into it. So Luca, do you want to take a little taste out of this and see what you think? Stick your fingers. Is that too much orange? You tell us. Too much. It's oh, too much. much. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we're gonna have to figure this out then. Well, we make one without it. Well, we got some without it. Okay. So then, we have a if you do the honors of taking one out, and we can take little bites. That's Luca. Luca. That there. It's oh, just yeah, it's, warm, it's not too hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's it look? Does it look oh. yeah, yes. 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 <gasps> These look so They yummy. are amazing, Zoe. Yay. Here, I'm going to Oh, the yeah. middle yeah. one. Oh, oh, I should get the belly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to fight over the middle one? Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, so good. Yeah, they sure do. This whole process was so easy in my opinion. It was just great. Look at that. Look at All right. That. So ready? We, ready, Luca? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, the mm. oh. I oh took my. your frosting. Oh my god. Mm. And I have to tell you a little secret. Oh, I love it. Oh. I'm on a keto diet and I don't care. <laughs> this is worth going out of ketosis. Oh. Mm. And the texture is so. You like it? Mm, yeah. yeah. Well, thank goodness it'd be terrible if they didn't like it. <laughs> oh my god. I love the kids because they always tell you exactly mm, what's what on they their mind. Like. And so I always ask my boys, is this good? And if they say yes, 
This is in the book. <laughs> this is really delicious. So we thank you so much for Griffin. My pleasure. You've made my culinary crush dream come true. Yes, you have. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> so that's it. This is how you make Zoe's skillet cinnamon rolls, even though I put my twist on what they're supposed to be like. They're easy to make. The recipe's on the site. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That is phenomenal. I have no pride. <laughs> if I can sell the book, damn it, I'll put the girls up there. <laughs> so now, like,